Well, how's it going, everybody? As you can see, it is a beautiful spring day in West Texas, and I'm taking full advantage of it. I'm out on the bike. I'm taking some video and photos of flora and fauna. You are watching the Tim Kreitz Adventures channel. Welcome. All the naturalists are out today. I already talked to one guy. He gave me some tips on birds to look for and all that kind of stuff. This is kind of a natural marsh and uh, it's actually a preserve of sorts, a wildlife preserve if you will. Interesting place. Okay, well this place is pretty neat, but it is a bit marshy and it's still a bit gray. I'm enjoying seeing the ducks and the birds and all of that stuff, but there's a bunch of oil field construction going on just the other side of these trees and it's kind of ruining everything. And I want to get to some place where we can look at prairie wildflowers, so let's head out. Sibley Nature Center. Let's see what's going on out here. So as we go out and start to explore some of this, you're going to notice that here in this part of Texas, the vast majority of the wildflowers are either purple or yellow. The vast majority of them actually being yellow. And they're mostly prairie flowers of various different types. And uh, this is just a weird thing about me. This is just one of my favorite things to do when it, springtime comes. We don't have blue bonnets in this part of Texas, so I go out and enjoy the prairie flowers, so let's go check it out. Now we're getting into the purple flowers and these are sort of thistle flowers really really pretty lots of different kinds of prairie flowers and prairie plants out here I'll try to show you something besides just flowers as well because there's a lot of neat stuff out here these are called tasajillas they're a type of cactus they hang out close to mesquite which is where this one is and when they finally bloom they have like these red fruit these little tiny red fruit all over them they're really pretty there you go this is what tasajillo look like when they start to bloom another plant that's indigenous here in west texas and well known by the locals is the yucca and these are not bloomed out yet. It's just a little bit early in the springtime. Not everything is starting to come out just yet. We're at the end of March as I film this video. Things are a little dry still, a little gray still, but they'll bloom out soon enough.
Alright. What a nice ride. Let's get out of this riding gear. So I can tell everybody has spring fever right now. The neighborhood is a buzz with activity. The streets were a buzz with activity. Everybody was out and about. People were playing disc golf and golf and they had just decided to give work a miss and just enjoy a perfect spring day. I was no exception to that. I worked this morning and then around lunchtime I said, hey man, I'm done for the day. Let's go ride motorcycles. So this is unusual subject matter. I usually don't do videos about this kind of stuff. But truth be told, when I go and ride by myself, a lot of times that's what it is. I'm on a nice, laid back, chilled out ride going somewhere where I can enjoy nature. And I found that as I'm getting older, I'll be 50 this year, I'm becoming a bit more stoic. And with a stoic outlook on life comes this sort of pull toward nature. I can't explain it, but you want to be in nature. You want to be in the sunshine. You want to be close to flora and fauna. You want to understand it better. I'm just kind of going through that right now. I'm not fighting it. I'm not trying to overanalyze it or figure out exactly what it is. I'm just enjoying it for what it is and doing what I want with it. Today was a perfect example of that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, until we meet again, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of one another. We'll see you next time. Bye.